Hey, thanks for joining us for a toadstool and fairy dust reading of the book, The Stray Dog, retold and illustrated by Mark Samant. This is based on a true story. Be sure to thumbs up the video. It lets YouTube know that you're interested in seeing more videos like this. It was a great day for a picnic. What's this? asked father. Oh, look, it's a scruffy little dog, said the mother. Oh, he looks hungry, said the girl. <laughs> I think he wants to play, said the boy. The children played with him and taught him to sit up. They named him Willie, and they kept playing with him until it was time to go. Oh, let's take Willie home. Please, Mom, oh, yes, please. Mm -mm, no, said the father. He must belong to somebody, explained the mother. And they would miss him if we took him. Say goodbye to Willie. On the way home, the little girl said, well, maybe Willie doesn't belong to anybody. They all sat quietly. During the week, all the family had Willie on their mind. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Then came Saturday. They put water out and a burger for Willie, just in case. <coughs> Willie! 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 They all cried when he appeared. But Willie didn't stop. Willie was in a big hurry, running away from the dog catcher. There he goes! There he goes! Hmm, this dog has no collar, and he has no leash, said the dog warden. This dog is a stray, and he doesn't belong to anyone. Hmm, the boy took off his belt. Well, here's his collar, he said, and the girl took off her hair ribbon. And here's his leash, she said. His name is Willie, and he belongs to us. Right, Willie? Yay! They put on Willie's collar and Willie's leash. And they took Willie home. They scrubbed him up and gave him a bath. After that, they introduced him to the neighborhood where he met some very interesting other dogs. And Willie settled in right where he belonged. He was no longer a stray. The end.